What is up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel and i wanted to show you all my pickups for today let's get right into them first i went to fye and picked up three things i picked up split on blu-ray i want to check this out because i got unbreakable coming on 4k next month so i want to check this one out too i also picked up the trimmer steel book surprised i didn't have that in my collection but now i do so nice there's the back of it there is the front of it. And last but not least, I picked up the Shaun of the Dead steelbook with the front and the back. And yeah, that's everything I picked up at FYE. Now I'm going to do the Best Buy pickups. Picked up three things at Best Buy 2. Let's show you what they are. I picked up Glass on Blu-ray. Seen this before, I want to check it out again. Also picked up Edward Scissorhands gotta support the Johnny Depp movies and also directed by Tim Burton last I picked up Ferris Bueller's Day Off Steelbook amazing look at the front there's the back folds out and you get this image cannot wait to watch this so now I went to Target and I wasn't expecting to grab anything but I did grab two things and they are Judas and the Black Messiah. Really excited to swap check this out. I've heard it's really good. And another one with Denzel Washington, Rami Malek, and Jared Leto. The Little Things. This looks like a fun little thriller, and I am really excited to check this out. I haven't heard anything about it, but it looked like a really nice film. Last thing I went to Walmart, and I grabbed two things. Wasn't expecting to grab anything. But I did find Angelina Jolie's Those Who Wish Me Dead. Seems like a nice little thriller. So yeah, I'm definitely going to check this out. And the last thing I got was Voyagers. I have no idea what this is about, but it looks interesting and I'm going to read the back to you guys. An edge of your seat, sci-fi thriller Voyager follows a crew of young astronauts on a decades-long mission to populate a new planet as disturbing secrets are uncovered. The crew descends into chaos fueled by paranoia, lust, and the hunger for power. So, yeah. I picked this up. Yep. As you can see, a lot of pickups, a lot of things I need to watch. But, yeah, that looks like it's going to be it for the pickups. If I have anything else, I will film. Now, my schedule. I used to release on Tuesdays, but now I think I'm going to do it maybe weekends now. I don't know. We'll test it out and see how it works. But, yeah, I look forward. If you don't see a video on Tuesday... Just wait till the weekend. It'll probably be up by the weekend. So, yeah, that is everything for right now. I will see you guys if I have something else, which I think I do have one more thing I got to show you, but I don't have it with me. So, yeah, I'll see you when I have it. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, and I have some pickups that I wanted to go through for today. I have four things, three Blu-rays and a DVD. Well, let's get into this. First DVD I picked up was Are You Afraid of the Dark? I think this was the reboot season one that they did on Nickelodeon. I already have season two. I showed that off last week. So, yeah, I did pick up the season one. So, yeah, I can't wait to watch this. This is a great... This would be, like, a great intro to horror for somebody... Or, like, if I, for somebody who has not seen a horror movie or is scared of horror. So, yeah, I may introduce this to a couple of my friends who do not like horror. Alright, let's get into the Blu-rays. First thing I picked up, brand new, came out I think last week. The new Bella Thorne and Gavin Rosdale little movie called Habit. I think it's about... Mm, let me see what it's about. Reminiscent of early Tarantino, this edgy, outrageous thriller is one, of, is one habit you'll want to acquire. This action begins in, as L.A. party girl made Mads. Bella Thorne gets a gig running drugs for Eric, a washed-up Hollywood star. When their cash gets stolen and Eric is slain by a rival drug lord, Mads and her two sexy BFFs hide out by dressing up as nuns, but in spite of their costumes, these bad girls are no angels. Also stars Gavin Rosdale, 
Paris Jackson and Hannah Mae Lee. So yeah, definitely really excited to check this out. Next one, a very good classic, The Blair Witch Project. I'm surprised I didn't have that in my collection, but now I do, and I'm probably going to watch this about 3,000 times. This is such a good movie. This last one, I didn't even know this existed. I was looking through Amazon, and I saw this, and I'm like, wow, I like the first one. Probably going to hate the second one, but it is American Psycho 2. I think it's... Who is in this? Uh... Mila Kunis. I don't know. I know Mila Kunis from some of her movies, but I don't know if this is going to be good. I liked Christian Bale as Patrick Bateman. That was an all-time classic role. He nailed that role. But I'm not sure I'm going to like this one because, first of all, there's no Patrick Bateman and not even the same director, which I have no problem with being a different director. I just don't know if I'm going to like this or not. But I grabbed it to check it out. It's only like 10 bucks. Or eight bucks on Amazon, so yep, that's everything for now. I'll probably have some more stuff tomorrow, but yep, I'll see you guys when I do. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I have four pickups that I want to show you. First, I got this from Amazon, which is the Shutter Island 4K Steelbook. I then picked up these from Best Buy Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo Steelbook on 4K. Alfred Hitchcock's Rear Window 4K Steelbook. And the big one that I was really excited for, The Thing 4K Steelbook. That is everything for this week. Make sure to smash that subscribe button, smash that like button, leave a comment, and I will see you next week. This ain't over.